Hi everyone, I'm Kay and welcome to the Music Lounge. Today we will be taking a closer look at the TR-909. Now the Roland TR-909 is a legendary drum machine so let me give you my rundown of the functions and functionalities of this venerable and legendary drum machine. So without further ado, here we go. So when you first start up the TR-909, it boots up into track play mode. You can tell you are in track play mode because the LED will be lit solid. Whenever it is blinking, you are in write mode. So these are the two main modes that you have in the TR-909. Now, funnily enough, the display does not show you the tempo. In order to see the tempo, you have to press the tempo button. All right, so I've pre-programmed some beats, so let's listen to that. It is not the best beats you will ever have heard, but they will do for the purposes of this. This demonstration so you just hit the start button and adjust your volume and uh, here we go so this is it now funnily enough the display does not show you the tempo in order to see the tempo you have to go and hit the tempo button and it doesn't even show you what patterns are playing it just shows you the position within the track and uh, when you record your track you then don't have to touch anything and basically the machine will play the patterns as you have programmed them in and you can then just play with the knobs you know play with the mixer adjust the timbres you get the idea so you get to do all the fun stuff but in order to get there you need to do some programming so in order to do that you have to go ahead and write some patterns so before we get there we can go into pattern play mode. When you're in pattern play mode, again, your LED will be lit solid and the display will not show anything. This is not a fault, this is how it's supposed to be. So when you hit tempo, you will see the tempo. No idea why that is the case, but this is how they done it. So overall, the architecture is you have four tracks, uh, three pattern slots with 16, 16 patterns each and two banks of those. So in order to go back and switch banks, you have to you have to hit track, play mode, and switch banks. So you have two sets of tracks with three pattern, three pattern groups each with 16 patterns. So quite a bit of memory there. Let's go ahead and program some patterns. So we're in bank two. Let's hit pattern play. Let's hold down the shift key and our LED is blinking, which means we are in pattern write mode. So there are two different write modes that you can write your patterns in. The first one is step mode, which is the default mode, or you can get into tap mode. Now let's stay in step mode, which is the more typical way you would go ahead and write your pattern. So you select your instrument, say your kick drum, and you hit, well, let's first clear the pattern. All right, so you would clear, you would clear your pattern, and then you select your instrument, Hit start, and there's your 16 steps. So let's make a very simple pattern here. And as you can see, these LEDs are only half lit. So in order to, these are two basic velocities that you have. So you have one um, lesser velocity and one uh, more augmented velocity. So let's just program a very simple beat here. Let's do some hi-hats with some random accents so that the pattern is more interesting let's do some snare drum All right, so there's your basic pattern. Now, um, the TR-909 makes it real easy for you to write patterns. So you can go ahead and copy that across and then change your patterns. So you go ahead and uh, hit your shift key, uh, hit copy. Wait, no, you gotta go select your destination first. So you wanna go to the pattern that you want to copy to. You're gonna hit copy, then you're gonna hit the pattern that you want to copy, which is pattern number one, and hit enter. So now, we're right here. So just the tempo bit. All right, let's copy that two more times to patterns three and four, to slots three and four. So again, select three, make sure it's in step mode, hit copy, and hit 
number two, enter. Number four, copy, hit three, enter. And now we have four patterns with the same information in it, with the same beat in it. Now you can also combine patterns by hitting the first and the last pattern a slot that you want to have combined. So in this case, we can combine one to four, we can combine one to seven, we can combine one to three, or we can just play each in pattern individually. All right, let's now work on pattern number two, three, and four to make them a little bit different. So let's go ahead and hit play. Let's maybe introduce some uh, open hi-hats for the second pattern. In order to access the open hi-hat, you hit buttons 13 and 14 together. Right, and now let's work on now let's work on the next pattern and introduce some toms. So let's start it again. Let's do some high toms. Right, and now all right let me show you flam in order to access flam mode you hit instrument select and uh, all these instruments up until the rim shot can flam so you go ahead and put push these two together and let's uh, do some flams here so by holding down flam and then selecting buttons 9 through 16 you select the how wide the flam is apart so at 9 the flam is really close together here the flams are the wider apart and here they are the widest all right let's play all four patterns together and let's explore the shuffle now the shuffle is one of the quintessential elements of the TR-909. The shuffle on this beast is legendary, so let's take a look at that. So the way you introduce the shuffle is by holding down the flam shuffle button, and then these buttons, one through six, select the intensity of the shuffle. So this is basically no shuffle. We get more shuffle, more shuffle, even more shuffle, and maximum shuffle. All right, now there's a second way how you can input your notes into this machine, and that is the tap mode. So let's do that. Let's select pattern five, and let's go into tap mode. So let's start this thing. Now the way you input notes in tap mode is by tapping the instrument button. So here we go. All right, if you don't like something, you can hit clear and hold down the instrument you don't like. So now I've removed the snare and let me put in something different. Now in order to introduce shuffle, you need to go back into step mode and introduce shuffle. All right, now of course, a very important element of the TR-909 is the way you can manipulate the sounds. So let's go ahead and select pattern number six, which is empty, just make sure, let's clear that. And let's explore each sound and how you can vary each sound. So let's start with the bass drum. So here we go, we're in step mode. So let's start recording and select our kick drum and let's put our four on the floor. And let's mess with the sound and listen what it can do. All right, so we can mess with the tuning. 
with the attack, make it softer. And with the decay, make it more snappy. So it, this is super snappy. Of decay, softer attack. All right, let's move on. Let's uh, go ahead and explore the snare drum. Also four controls for this guy. So we got the level. Let's put some. All right, this is just a very basic snare pattern, so let's see what we can do with the tone. So we can, of course, bring the level down or up. We can mess with the tuning, tune it down or up. Adjust the, adjust the amount of snare. Super tight. Just the right amount. And we can also mess with the tone. So this is very dark, and here we go brighter to all the way up. All right, next we have the toms. For the toms, we have tuning and decay. Uh, the controls are now much simpler. For the rim shot as well, we only have levels. And for the hi-hat, we can adjust. So let's explore the hi-hats. So we can adjust the level and uh, the decay of the closed hi-hat and of the open hi-hat. So do the close hi-hats first. All right, let's put in some closed hi-hats. Cool. And now let's mess with the decay. So see, now the K shortens the amount of the sound that you get. Or you can lengthen it to taste. And last but not least, you get tuning for the cymbals. So let's, just for the fun of it, let's introduce a crash. And let's put in a ride as well. Ride on the one. Three, one, two, and three. Bring up the level and mess with the tuning. All right, well, that pretty much concludes the scope of this video. I hope you have found this helpful. And in case you did, please make sure to like, comment and consider subscribing because that will help tremendously to grow this channel. So thank you again very much for dedicating your time to watching this video and I will be seeing all of you in the next one. Thank you. Peace out.